who do you say that Jesus Christ is? Who do you say that Jesus Christ is? You and I are challenged to have a personal knowledge of Jesus and why we're here and why we honor him and why we pray to him and why we adore him and why we worship him. We need to know, right? Who do you say that I am? Jesus does not promise us an easy life as a disciple. It's amazing. I wonder sometimes how well people, including myself, really get him. Today he says, you're going to be hated because of my name. I think one of the places that our church has gone wrong in the modern era is there's been this kind of attempt to make friends with the culture, even when the culture is contrary to the faith. You know, we worship a crucified Lord. And I think we all need to recognize the battle before us and inside of us. Yes? You know, when we know what we're facing, then I think it makes it all the easier. Winston Churchill, after the British were defeated at Dunkirk, made a very famous speech. And some of you are familiar with this speech, at least one line of the speech. He promised the British people blood, sweat, toil, and tears. And he said, you know, we got a battle on our hands. And this is what our Lord is saying here. In the prophet Hosea today, we finish our reading of the prophet Hosea. And Hosea is so beautiful and so encouraging and so consoling, but he's also quite challenging at times. But in the gospel, in the prophet today, he's reminding us of God's eternal fidelity. Throughout the gospel, uh, throughout the prophet Hosea, Hosea was called to take as his wife a prostitute who was going to be unfaithful to him constantly. And Hosea, in his person, was going to manifest God's forgiveness and eternal fidelity, even in the face of constant infidelity. Y'all following me? Like God is faithful even when we're not faithful. And that's ultimately the message of Hosea. Now, I'm going to maybe go off on a little bit of tangent, but hopefully y'all will see the connection to what I've been rambling about so far, okay? So somebody asked me about Frida Fest, okay? What is Frida Fest? I don't know what Frida Fest is. Who's Frida? I don't know who Frida is. Who do you say that she is? And why do we honor her? Do we honor her because she was an adulteress? Do we honor her because she was sexually confused and bisexual? Do we honor her because she was a communist? Why do people honor her? Who do you say that she is? Who do I say that she is? Who do you say that Jesus is? Jesus did not promise us popularity. He did not promise that it would be easy to be his follower. You know what he promised us? That it would be difficult. My brothers and sisters in Christ, there is nothing 
more beautiful than to know the love of God. There is nothing more real than to encounter Jesus Christ. But we live in a world in the midst of a culture that just wants to embrace every passing whim. I promise you, blood, sweat, toil, and tears, if you will be an authentic follower of Jesus Christ, but I also promise you eternal life and consolation and peace and truth today.